Hello, uh, this is Jay Stanwell. Today, I'd like to demo uh, how to create your uh, ArcMap add-in. First, um, let's uh, run my add-in. I run it in debug mode. Okay. So this is the add-in I created, and uh, I click it, and it you can select the street name in this form, and find it. Okay, when I remove it, it will be gray out. When I add in, it will be and uh, high, uh, enabled here. So that's the at the end, I want them today, so I stop. Now let's get started. See this. I started uh, video studio 2010 and have uh, created a new project. You can see here we have at the end, we have at the end tablet, and we also have extending up uh, up objects uh, template. Yeah, we used to use this to customize and extend ArcGIS functions. But today I want to show how to use add-in. Actually add-in is much easier to do it. Okay, start this and we will start uh, add-in wizard. And fill this information. Add-in tab is a button today. When people click the button, it will bring a form. Okay, and fill this class name. Because I already created, so I closed. I open my project. I get a street. Now you see, this is created by that uh, editing wizard. When you fill this information, class name you filled, and this why that uh, button is gray out because it's controlled by on demand equal to false okay and that now we can take a look at the create street class when you use the wizard create the add-in project it will automatically create this unclick and on update events so let's see what this event doing when user click the button I want to show, show a form, window form. Okay, here with you can see. And also because that uh, button is gray out, so I want do something on the on update event and can enable that button. So that's what we do here when the center street line the feature class is added to the arc map it will enable the button so that's what this uh, on update event doing now we can go to this form people click the button and we will bring a form and use the form the form will automatically field street name in this combo box okay let's see the code we have form node event and that will call the node street and subroutine to node street name into the count box because this is the MDB percentage database, we use uh, we use OLDDB command and uh, OLDDB data reader to fill the data to the combo box. And uh, we must click to the MDB, right? So that's we can find this Microsoft. OLDB connection string, but here I want to mention 
the MDD the file you can put it in your computer anywhere and I create a public uh, property to dynamic get that location uh, send the street line location and uh, can calculate that to the collection stream and uh, that will do what we want so you can go back here remember remember here we have we need to point to that uh, uh, property and uh, and fill that property with the with the location the path of this and we get that from here get that from here all right and I think uh, that's what we want to create a uh, add in now let's run it second time okay yeah when when you compile when you install that you will find I'm not sure I have installed it. Okay, I, if you installed it, you, you can find that here, the cat street. You can go here to delete and uh, all. So, because we I already added this to the arc map, so I can click it. You see? Or, oh, as I said, because if you remove it, it will gray out and when you add in add that data to the ArcMap send it to it 9 it will it will enabled so okay and uh, when you have that add-in, you can just uh, copy the file. For example, we compile it, and then we go to this folder. We just need to double-click this history add-in file. It will install for you. And uh, actually, you can put those file in the shared uh, drive or uh, in user computer and uh, double click you don't need the administrator account and uh, to install it next time when the file updated it just uh, replaced the old file with the new file so that's easy okay let's stop I think uh, that's all today and uh, thank you very much for your watching and uh, have a great day. See you next.